Sup guys, Danger here, and today I'm going to be going over my quality settings. I'm going to show you guys uh, pretty much the fastest settings that I've found uh, for Sony Vegas 10, and it's kind of like the same one, the other ones, but uh, I have a trial version, but it's, you know, it's pretty much full version. Uh, I've had it for over a year now, and it still hasn't ran out, so yeah, but uh, I have the HD PVR the hapog so um yeah my what usually if i have a 15 minute video uh it will take about two and a half an hours hours to uh render it out and most likely about one hour to upload it to youtube in hd and process it and uh you know for it for it to be up there on youtube but uh, I'm gonna go over that now with you guys. So first, what you wanna do is you wanna open up Sony Vegas, uh, drag your clip in. I already have my clip in. It's pretty much um, my Let's Play, what I've been doing uh, on my other channel. But what you wanna do is go to Pan and Crop, and I already have a um, a template for this or a preset, and that is a uh, 720p. You wanna just crop out the uh, the black lines. Of course, this is a cutscene, so it's it's not um, fully cropped out. This is like when when it goes back into the regular multiplayer, it's um it's cropped out like to where you can see the the full screen. But uh, so after you do that, you just hit X, and then after that, you want to go to you want to click on this, go to switches, uh, make sure maintain aspect ratio is unchecked and make sure it is disable resample uh, a lot of people don't do that but you should indeed do that um, then after you're finished with that make sure that uh, all this is you know all this is like this little uh, yellow to that uh, you make make sure that's just do that and it'll capture everything for you uh, that way when you render it that it'll, it'll be full like your your video will be full um, don't know, really know how to explain that but yeah then you go to file render as uh, you don't need to change your project properties or anything like that you just uh, basically drag your clip in and it should already be set uh, the way it should be so um, then you're gonna you know go to wherever your file should be saved at mine's in Resident Evil 5 um, type in something, I don't know, um, 1-4, because I'm on the fourth part. You're going to want to go for the save type as um, Sony AVC MP4 M2TS AVC. I'm going to click on that. Uh, I already have a, pre or a template for this, but you're going to want to go to custom, uh, name it whatever you want to name it. Make sure it is a uh, video format AVC high definition as your frame size um, make sure that's unchecked make sure your profile is baseline make sure that your coding is CAVLC make sure your frame rate is 29.97 and I know a lot of people use uh, you know whatever it is 40 49 because it's uh, or 59 because it's a PVR but when you drop when you put it on YouTube it's gonna drop back down to 30 so um, do 29.9 trust me it's the best um, make sure you're allowed allow a source to uh, adjust frame rate make sure that's unchecked make sure your field order is none uh, your pixel aspect ratio is one uh, your bit rate per second um, it really depends on what you want it to be. Uh, this is your quality, basically. So the higher it is, the better quality you're gonna have. You don't want to go um, more than I wouldn't say more than 15, because you will really have a, a large file, and it'll be a lot to uh, it'll take a lot to render it out. I think. But uh, usually I go with 8,000 or 8 million if I'm rendering out like a commentary. But if I'm just doing like a series, like the uh, the Resident Evil series I just do four thousand or four million and uh, it takes about you know as I said about uh, two and a half hours to render out and uh, one hour to upload and it's 
really great quality. Uh, so yeah, the encode mode is automatic, <clears throat> and uh, your audio. I haven't really changed anything on that. Uh, if you have a, you know, if you're recording with 5.1 surround sound, you definitely want to change that so you have the best quality for sound. Um, go over here to system. <clears throat> That's going to be MP4. Uh, your project is definitely going to be best. And uh, this is for Sony Vegas 10. Um, it's like a 3D mode or something. Uh, I haven't used it before, but yeah. If you use that then you know put that um, so then you're gonna want to make sure before you press OK you you save your template and uh, then you're gonna press OK um, I, I can't click cancel because I already have the settings on there but uh, you want to make sure your render loop region only is checked that the loop region is that thing if you don't have that checked it'll render the whole video and it'll take hours and hours and hours trust me you don't want to do that but um your stretch video to fill output frame size is going to be checked and your save project markers in media file is checked okay so that's pretty much my quality settings you guys um hope you guys like this video if you if it did help you um give it a like if you can or if you didn't if it didn't help you give it a dislike it doesn't really matter to me, just uh, do something for me and help me out. Alright, uh, thanks.